uh, big questions. It's a big deal about trucking in our industry, uh, in our country. Uh, California regulators, they've just approved a ban on big rigs and buses running on diesel fuel. Get this, by the year 2036, it requires all trucks to be zero emissions by 2042. That's not that long from now. The federal government will have to decide whether to approve the ban and it gets the go ahead or maybe other states will just decide, no, we don't want to do this. Uh, this is ridiculous. Ingrid Brown, she's been a truck driver for over 40 years. Obviously, you have experience working in California. There are a lot of Californians who have moved to places like Texas and elsewhere because they're just frankly sick of all the regulation. Uh, you say this ban will have an impact far beyond. I mean, obviously, as the West Coast goes, I mean, one of the largest economies in the world, just the state alone, it's going to affect other states in the union, in the U.S. Yes, ma'am, it will. Good morning, and thanks for having me. I think that we all should look at the infrastructure. The infrastructure isn't ready for this. I mean, we all, common sense is you have to plug it in. Where are we going to plug this in? Where is the electricity going to come from? We, you know, I've worked with CARB, uh, California Resource Board, and I've been on their committee for truck parking, and we don't have enough truck parking as it is. Now, where are you going to park all these trucks to plug them in and right. for recharge? Yeah, there aren't enough charging stations. I mean, and I know that there's this <laughs> push to advance that. Uh, Walmart has suggested that they will now have charging stations. So there's there's a bigger strategy at play here. But on the personal level, when you think about this as a truck driver, as somebody who has experience on the road, to eliminate all trucks that run on diesel fuel, I mean, how, how much would that change the game? You know, California changed us on what we call the death emissions. And it increased the cost for us to buy a truck tremendously. In 17, 18, I bought a truck for $165,000. Right now, we're looking at trucks at being two hundred and sixty dollars to $300,000 a piece. So when they phase these out and we have to go, I mean, electric trucks aren't even ready to be built. We can't get parts on diesel trucks. So the economy of what it's going to cost us to replace it, and it doesn't matter if you're a big fleet like Walmart, that's a huge impact, which is going to be you know, handed down to people like you, me, my family, everybody else. I've, let I've heard alone that, trying to run up there. Yeah, I've heard that there is a, a push, and there, there, there's the technology already out there to have self-driving diesel and big rigs. I'm just thinking: Are they trying to push people out of this industry? You know, I don't, I don't know. It, it's a huge question with me. Um, I look at this like this: I cannot find the safety in having a driverless truck. I don't know about you, but I don't want an 80,000 pound vehicle operating around me that's going to react after something happens rather than before or can foresee it. Um, my grandbabies are on this road. My family's on this road, you're on this road. I'm not ready to see a truck drive down the road and me, it pass me or me pass it and there be nobody at the controls of it. So as far as that, I'm, I'm, that concerns me very much. Um, you know, drivers, you know, this is the largest industry that will never go away. People have to eat, people have to, I mean, everything you touch is brought by a truck. America moves by truck. I mean, that's our favorite saying, but what's gonna happen now, and now that you're cutting off the biggest supply, I don't know if you know, but the ports are actually mandated now in California of 2024. So they have to replace any truck from that time. They have to register and they start into this earlier than anybody else does. And that starts at the end of the registration of October, I'm sorry, December 31st of 2023. So this is already kicking off without any infrastructure or anything being, it, it's blowing my mind. It, it's really blowing my mind, especially as a driver and operating in that in California. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.